everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here then hi, um, hit that little subscribe button down below and today I'm bringing you a bit of a mixture. So we've got Poundland and we also have, woo, we also have like stationery for back to school stuff. So obviously the kids go back to school here in England um, at the beginning of September and my Little one will be starting preschool, so he doesn't necessarily need like stationery and stuff like that. But my oldest will be going into his second year at primary school. No, not primary school. Hmm, my head isn't working. At high school. So I have got a few things here that he needs. Now, four pens. He's obsessed with. Now, these are two different versions we've found. So this is a plain white one. This was in B&M. And this one is like a silver version. They had like girly colours like um, mint, I think, and like a pink and stuff. But they still have all the same colours in the top. So they have red, black, blue and green. Yep, yeah, all the same colours in them. But just two different versions because he is a boy and he loses things. I also grabbed him a pack of pencils. Now, I got pencils, the big pen, a pack of just normal pens just in case, um, a sharpener to go in his bag and a little ruler to go in his pencil case. Now, all these came from B and M and this, I think, these like 39p, this was like 29p, this was 29p, now this is a double one, now this is actually great for makeup because it's got like the smaller one and the thicker one in there, um, I think this pen was 89p, now this is the cheapest I've seen these, and I think the pencils are about 49p, 50p, something like that. I can't remember how much this one was from Asda, but it won't have been much more than a pound because I just won't pay them when he loses them. So I grabbed those for his like back to school pencil case and stuff like that, but I also got some stuff from Poundland for him. So I'll just get them. So I also got him two of these. Now his favourite colour is lime green. These are actually to go in his bedroom. He's not got a Calyx unit, but it's I think it's an Argos version of the Calyx unit. Now I found out at the end of this year, well, the end of this um, last school year, that he just carried all his books and stuff in his bag. Every single one. It didn't take what he needed for the day, it took every one. So I'm hoping to get him into a bit of a new routine this time and that at the end of the day, he empties his bag and his books and his folders go in these, in his little um, Calyx unit. Well, not Calyx, uh, like square cubed unit. So they, they go in these and it keeps them tidier because they were, by the end of the year, his books were all curled and scruffy looking. And yeah, they just ooh, wound me up. But while I was in Poundland, I grabbed a few extra bits. So I got some of these to try. Now these are Epsom salts, as you can see, they already opened because at a garden dean they had the eucalyptus ones and a lavender version. Now I use these um, for like pain and muscle fatigue and stuff like that. They are absolutely brilliant for things like that and Dean's been having a bad back so we thought we'd try them. I haven't tried this brand before myself so I can't actually give a verdict. But for a pound, I thought we'd give them a go. We also got an oven mitt because, I don't know where it's gone. When we was on holiday camping, we ended up needing a new tea towel and we picked one up from Poundland while we was down in Devon. And this matches it. So it's like this dark gray color. And I am fed up of going to pull trays out the oven or some pans up that are hot or something like that. And the tea towel is wet and burning my hands. So this, should stop that. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed just a quick one of their conditioners as a standby, because if, um, I like to just have a standby conditioner in my cupboard. Now this has got 
Je Jehovah, I think that's how it's pronounced, oil in it to prove texture of hair, providing natural shine and softness. So I thought I'd give that a go. I also grabbed these. Now let me just put these down. I also grabbed these. Now there was one that was open and they've got ridiculously long stems on them, like ridiculously long. You can bend them and stuff, so I think I'll cut them to the height I want, but watch this. I thought, um, mm, do I get these? They're not that great. Then I went like this, watch, ready? Oh, it's not gonna do it. Oh, yes it is! Shake, shake, shakey. Look at them! They are the perfect colour for my living room. And how big? From that to that. So let's open this one. Let's do it again and we'll just slow moan. Shake, shake, shake. Ta-da! Oh, this one's a bit... The petals are all, like, folded in. But once you give them a good fluff and stuff, these are absolutely massive. I was hoping they had a white to kind of mix it up with. But I just grabbed two. I may go back and see if I can get another one. Let me go and get the vase that I'm thinking. So, <laughs> as you can see, this is the vase I tend to put... I'm hoping to put them in. It's a purple colour. But look how long <laughs> they are. So let's give them a fold and see... Because I want them to kind of sit at the top of the vase. So let's have a go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need another one. But can you see how this side... I've had to fold them, but I will cut them. But it does need another one on this side. Um, I should have grabbed three. Let's pray I can get one. Because I all know, as soon as things arrive, they disappear. But when it is full, if you imagine it's full on the other side... These are really pretty and it's just something to add to the vase and if I get a bunch of flowers I can just take them out and still use the vase because of obviously them being fake. Now this is the second time oh, I have bought fake flowers from Poundland and I am really pleased with the other ponds I've got. It's a pink set and I will link the video down below and um, they still have those in my Poundland. I was just Oh, these are really pretty. Oh yeah, I definitely need another one to kind of bunch them up together. But they are really, really pretty. Um, yes, if you get really close to them, you can see they're fake and stuff like that. But they don't look cheap. They, I would say that something like this I would look at in like um, Home Sense and stuff like that. They look no different. So I'm really pleased with this find. And last but not least, there is two items. Now, it seems Poundland have brought out their own skincare routine. Now, there was only a few things left. There wasn't the whole range, because I was going to buy the whole range to give it a trial. But I decided to stick with two things out. I think there was about six different items in total. Two things that I should be able to see, like an instant... Um, whether it works or not type thing. So I got, these are the products, they're called number six. They're really pretty products, they're like a mint and um, a blush pink colour at the bottom with silver. So I got a Marcella water with Pro Vitamin B5, Aloe Vera, Caramel and Vitamin E. It says it removes makeup while helping cleanse, smooth and purify the skin. It says, suitable for all skin types, fragrance free and alcohol free, which I absolutely liked. Now they also got an anti-aging collagen filler. Now, these are where I'm kind of dubious of things like this. It says, fights visible signs of aging with collagen, hydron hydronic, I can't pronounce that word, acid, shea butter and aloe vera extract. Now on the back, It says, our illuminating number six anti-aging collagen filler is specially formulated for skin already showing visible signs of aging, which I am. I have got quite a bit of wrinkles around my eyes and stuff like that. Uh, it easily absorbed and will help reduce the signs of wrinkles and furrows. Furrows, is that how you pronounce it? So, I'm going to open this. I haven't even opened it. Um, but it just comes in a little tube like this. I just thought I'd do a little little bit on the back of my hand. Obviously, I've got full face makeup on at the minute. It feels really nice. It 
it just sinks in very very easily so what I am going to do in fact I think my makeup would look nice under that on my skin anyway what I'm planning to do is another video using both of these products in a video and then what I'm going to do is if I like these I will then buy the rest of the range and use them for a week or two and see what I think so watch out for that video and I have also got a Primark video coming which is uh, I'm trying to work how to say it it is how to transition your summer wardrobe to autumn with a few key pieces from Primark. Hey mommy. Hey buddy. Want to come and say hello? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky monkey aren't you? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Good kiss. I love you. Say hit that subscribe button. Subscribe button. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Right, go on. So I'm also going to do a Primark video that is how to transition your existing summer wardrobe into an autumn wardrobe with only buying a few key pieces. I think there's four pieces I've got um, in this haul, in the haul that I'm going to do, but it's specifically for plus size stuff like that. But yeah, watch out for that video, it'll be coming very soon and yes. If you like these kind of videos, please hit that subscribe button. We love having you here on this channel and why not be with us from the start as we grow? We are very close to 300 subscribers now, very close, it feels in touching distance and that just feels unreal to be a third of the way to like 1,000 which is kind of what everybody's first target is. But anyway, yes, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.